Hey everyone, it's Kenji. Uh, we're gonna make some onion burgers. Oklahoma onion burgers. Um, so this, this style of burger uh, still still served in Oklahoma in uh, various diners, um, created by a man named Ross Davis uh, in the during the Depression era. Um, so right at the dawn of the hamburger, basically, um, the idea was that meat was expensive and onions were cheap. Um, so he made this burger that was. Uh, you know, like half onion, um, and it's popular and still it's still served there, and it's ser still served in a few other uh, uh, diners around Oklahoma. So we're gonna start with meat. Um, this breaks a lot of basic rules that you might have heard about making burgers. So first, you can see I'm starting by kind of massaging the meat a little bit. I'm getting it into a nice sort of tight ball. But the reason is because we're gonna smash these, and I don't want the um, I don't want them falling apart as we smash them. Um, so I've got ground beef there. Um, any ground beef will do, but you want something with a relatively high fat content because you see we're not gonna add any fat at all to the um, uh, to the griddle as we cook them. Um, so I'm going with about 80% fat, uh, sorry, 80% lean, 20% fat, 80-20 beef. Um, anything around in that range would work. Um, just a couple other ingredients. Uh, the most important one being an onion. So I'm gonna slice it on a mandolin, mandolin slicer. This is a Japanese brand. Um, the Japanese brand is called uh, oh, Ben Renner. Ben, ben Renner, which like, well, literally, literally translates to, oh, how handy. Um, but you see, I have it set on like, as thin as it can possibly go. So these are like super paper thin slices of onion and that's really what we're after. Um, and I'm slicing them orbitally. That is like, if you if you see the onion as a planet where the um, the top and the bottom are the poles, I'm um, slicing it uh, basically in line uh, parallel to the equator of that planet, as thin as I possibly can. You can do this by hand if you don't have a mandolin, of course, but um, it really makes a much it makes the job a lot easier and it makes a difference. This was a, started out as a 12 ounce onion. Uh, I'm using half of it, so that's a six, six ounces of onion. Um, I'm probably gonna have a little bit of loss from the ends, but I'm guessing, you know, the, oh, these balls of beef, by the way, are each four ounces. Um, so by the time I'm done with this onion, it's probably enough. I'm, I'm guessing it's around, two and a half ounces of onion per four ounce burger. Um, so let me show you what I'm gonna do here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make this in two different ways. Um, what did I do with my spatula? Let me go grab it from outside, I think. Yeah. Spatula. Spatula cities. Um, all right, so I'm gonna make this in two different ways. One of them, uh, I'm gonna smash sort of class, I'm gonna do classic style on the griddle. Um, the other way, I'm gonna do on the grill to get a little bit of grilled flavor in it. Um, so the one that's going on the grill, I'm gonna put it on a piece of parchment paper here. I'm gonna flatten it out a little bit. It's around three inches or so. I'm gonna put a nice big stack of onions on there. Okay. And then I'm gonna smash them into that patty. And you can see I'm kind of focusing on the edges of the patty so that the, the middle remains a little bit thicker and it gets progressively thinner towards the ends. Okay, that's about all we're looking for there. Now this other one I'm just gonna flatten into about a, a three inch circle, a little bit smaller than my bun. I'm gonna season it. Oops, hang on, baby's awake. All right. Sorry, baby woke up unexpectedly and then took way longer to go back down than I was uh, hoping. Uh, oh, wow, okay, so you can see actually the burger patty that I salted, it's probably been about like 20 minutes now. It, it's all covered in this moisture because the salt draws out moisture. So that's an example of something you shouldn't do. Um, if you're gonna salt your burger patty, you wanna be ready to cook it. Of course, um, if a baby starts crying in the middle, then well, you can't really do much about it. It'll still be, it'll still be fine, so don't worry about it. The main thing that's gonna happen is gonna make Browning a little bit tougher, but honestly, the amount of water that salt draws out right there um, is gonna be nothing compared to how much liquid comes out when we start really searing it. Um, so it doesn't matter too much. All right, so I, I salted one side, I flipped it over. I actually should have done that on this patty too. I just forgot. Um, but I salted one side, flip it over. This one, I'm just gonna put the onions on it. Um, and I'm not gonna season them until we're ready to cook, mainly for that same reason, because if you salt them now, they'll completely start to weep and they just turn super watery. Uh, all right, so we're ready to cook. So now we're gonna take this outside so that um, we don't get the entire kitchen smelling like uh, 
you know, the white mana and Hackensack. All right, so I got my spatula, I got my onions, my burgers, burger buns, seasoning. That's about all we need. Oh, beer, need a beer, yeah. And we're gonna go outside. All right, I'll see you out there. Okay, and here we are outside. So I've got my grill uh, preheated high heat and I've got a griddle set on top of it. Um, you can use like a cast iron skillet or something like that instead. Um, I'm using a baking steel mini griddle. Um, we're gonna start recording here. Okay, so there's two ways you can cook these burgers. Um, the first one we're gonna do this grilled method. So this is not the classic method. This is a method that um, I'm using just because I wanna get a little bit of sort of char grilled flavor on it. I figure we're outside anyway, so we might as well. So I'm gonna start this one. This is why I smashed it first, because you can't smash it once it's on the grill grates. Um, but I, I'm gonna start this one on the grill grates, okay? And what we're gonna do is we're gonna get some nice char grilled flavor on that side, and then we're gonna flip it onto the griddle to uh, cook the onions. The other one, we're gonna cook like this. So I'm gonna start it. Completely dry griddle, no oil, nothing, which is what we want, because um, we want this patty to actually stick. When you're smashing a burger, you want it to stick to the patty um, so that you get maximum brown, browning. Uh, you want it to stick to the griddle so you get maximum browning, and then you can sort of scrape it off and you'll see. So this one I'm gonna put on the griddle, and I'm gonna smash it down. And again, you can see what I'm trying to do is smash those onions into it, and then really smash the edges out more than I smash out the center. At this point now, I can season, salt, pepper, season the other guy too, salt, pepper, beer. All right, let's see how this guy is doing. A little rotation. So we're gonna let this cook. It only takes about, you know, a minute or so on a, with a really small patty, you know, like the, if this was like a two and a half ounce patty or two ounce patty, it would only take about 45 seconds. Um, like at my restaurant, my former restaurant, Worst Hall, which is still operating, I'm just not part of it anymore. But there, um, the burgers cook for about 45 seconds. Um, same with my other, the other restaurant I did the menu for, which is um, Harlem Shake in New York. They, uh, burgers cook about 45 seconds on a side. All right, so this is ready to flip. So. You see, I have my spatula here. Instead of holding it this way, I'm gonna flip it over, and you want a really nice stiff spatula for this. Um, and then I'm gonna kind of work it under the edges all the way around to loosen it up. And then flip, there you go. You can see that crust. And then this one, same thing. It's already griddled on one side, so we're just gonna flip it over onto this side. Now what we do is we construct. So we put our cheese on and our top bun directly on the cheese. Cheese on here, top bun directly on the cheese. Um, and then we put our bottom bun on here and our other bottom on, bun on here. If I were doing this indoors, I would now take a, uh, a towel and fold it over the top. It would be sort of be my, I call it my onion towel because once you use it on a burger like this, um, it's never gonna not smell like onions. Uh, but outdoors we can just close the grill. And what's gonna happen is that onion is going to steam, create vapor, uh, and then the buns are gonna soften up in that vapor. The meat's gonna finish cooking through in that onion steam. Uh, the buns are gonna soften up, the cheese is gonna get melty, and it's gonna be super delicious. Um, there's obviously more, his more to the history of this burger than I, you know, the very brief one I did. Um, I would recommend a couple of books if you're interested in the history of the hamburger in general. Um, George Motz's book, uh, my buddy George Motz, he does the Burger Scholars over on First We Feast. Um, his book, Hamburger America, is a sort of a tour of American burgers. Um, and the other book, uh, another really good one, is John T. Edge's book um, called, uh, I think it's called The Hamburger, An American Story, or something like that. Um, that one goes pretty deep into the history of the onion burger. Um, oh, and also the, um, the late Josh Ozersky, uh, an old friend of mine, he also wrote a book called The Hamburger, um, I think it's called The Hamburger, A History. Um, or was that the John T. Edge one? I don't know, look, look them up, I'll, I'll put links below. All three of them are good books if you're interested in hamburgers and hamburger history. All right, so you can see everything's getting melty, Ooh, soft. Take these bottom burger buns off, I'm gonna put on, you can put condiments if you want, you know, I think typically 
uh, in Oklahoma. Main, may, maybe the only condiment you would have was pickle, would be pickles and mustard. I'm gonna go condiment free, just pickles. Just some playful little pickle slices here. Um, because I really don't think this kind of burger needs it. Okay. Scrape those onions up. Boop. What we're gonna do is assemble it here and slide it on out. Okay, same over here. So two different burgers, both done outside, both done with a griddle outside, but one of them has a little grilled flavor, one's a sort of more classic griddled version. Both I think are gonna be delicious. What I really like about this burger is that you get all these sort of different flavors and textures of onion. You know, some of the onions around the edges are like really black, almost burned, you know, while, as, while some of the onions in the center are still kind of steamed and uh, sort of, you know, virtually raw, but just kind of steamed. All right, let's see how it tastes. Let's try the grilled one first. Mmm. Mmm. I forgot to season that second side, and it's... I can taste... It's all under-seasoned. <laughs> Remember, good season that burger on both sides. All right, let's try the classic version. That looks good. Look at those. Different textures of onion under there. Crispy edges. Mmm. Oh yeah, pink and juicy in the middle. Of course you can cook it more well done if you want. Make thinner patties, make two, two two ounce patties or two two and a half ounce patties if you want it more cooked through. Mm -hmm. All right. Those are classic Oklahoma grilled onion griddled onion burgers, smash burgers. Mm. All right. Guys, gals. Mmm. They're so good. Guys, gals. Non-binary pals. I will see you next time. Bye-bye.